So what's the deal with this Banksy story? Um, so some girl, I saw some TikTok from some girl that was like, I can't believe, I think I have two Banksies. Did you hear about that? Mm -mm. Is, it, is that what this story is? Look, this is kind of coherent. I'm like shaking and maybe I'm just going to make myself look like an absolute idiot and people will be making fun of people like me on the news or yes, or on, um, podcasts. on TikTok soon, but I, I don't know. I just, I can't stop shaking at the, the chance that maybe this is real. I was just on my way home from work, and I had to. Why, 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 why? When people do this shit and they tell these stories in the mirror, what's with the zooming? Yeah, the zooming and the cuts too. Yeah, just, just say it, face to camera. Yeah. Just that, that, yeah. That, that, that. I was just on my way home from work, and I had to switch trains. Um, I live in New York City. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Okay, we know you live in New York City. I had to East Side, and I was going to. the... You know, me packing. I was just going to like my the... much cooler apartment. It's like <laughs> has no rats in it. Like I, I have I, I live in the apartment building with no rats. Um, <laughs> this is my outfit. Anyway. And um, I had to switch trains at one of the stops. Um, and I passed this art exhibit in the subway station that was just like the Banksy exhibits or the, the Banksy sales from like London and other times he was in New York. And his exhibit is coming up. It's opening very soon. Um, I was just reading about it, and I really want to go see his New York exhibit. Because I like art. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, they, they were just like pieces of art. <laughs> she just... <laughs> I'm going in. She just panned the fucking camera down on her shoes <laughs> to, like, simulate looking down at art. But there's no fucking art there. She just showed us that she has Yeezys. <laughs> Scattered on the subway... Not on the train, but at the subway stop floor, like no tarp, no plastic, nothing protecting them, just on the floor with a, a piece of caution tape around it. And I didn't want to film because I, I just, I, I respect, you know, if it was Banksy, if it was him, I, I didn't want to, you know, make too light of it. So I didn't film it, but I, I was like, wow, that's amazing. And it was his classic, like, uh, cash or Bitcoin only. This is not a photo opportunity, like signs. And there was nobody there. I looked around. I literally, I looked left and right. And. There was nobody there. These paintings were just I there. <laughs> and then I looked right. I look left. She pans to like don't know. Yeah. she pans to like Gucci, fucking yeah, Louis, just, Louis, Louis bag. Yeah, just something like that. Pans right. She has a view of the city. <laughs> <laughs> I looked left. I looked right. And people could have just taken one. You could have just picked one up and ran. So I got on my second train. And I went home and I made it all the way home. And my stomach just hurt so bad. Oh, I ate this one of one burrito. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel bad. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So then I took a huge shit and I decided to <laughs> take the train back. Because I ate this like one of a kind cheese. There's only one of 20 <laughs> wheels. And it's because it was on the west side. And I, and I have exclusive access to this, uh, this cheese tasting party. And I'm thinking, oh, I got a shit so bad. <laughs> cheese tasting party. Something in me was like, go back. Something in me was like, no more Gouda. <laughs> so I literally got off my train, stopped at the first ATM I could find, took out, you know, as much as I, I, I wanted to buy. I took out $23,000. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I maxed out the ATM. I had to call Garda to bring more cash to the ATM. I drained that whole bag. So then I put 80K in the Gucci purse. You might have saw it when I was telling you I looked left. It was in that bag right there. And I got back on the train because I live in New York. And I rode the train. And I literally got back on the train. It's 10 o'clock at night. I have work tomorrow morning. It's 10 o'clock at night. I got back on the For <laughs> Goldman Sachs, by the way. <laughs> train. I went back to the west side from the east side. Like, who would ever want to go back there? <laughs> Ugh. And I was just praying that it would still be there. Nobody was paying attention the first time I passed it. Everyone was just walking by. So when I got back, a couple people had stopped and were looking. And, and I looked around and somebody gave like, kind of a slight nod. And I see this guy just standing full face covered, ski mask. Like, and I went up to him and I was like, are you selling those? And he just nodded. He wouldn't talk. He did not speak. He just nodded yes. And he walked me over to them. And I gave him the money and I said, I'll take two. And now here they are. And again, maybe I'm just going to sound like an absolute idiot, but... And in classic TikTok fashion, whoever sees this, they're going to scroll down two TikToks, and it's going to be some dude who's like, 
Yeah, man. So uh, I put on this whole fake <laughs> know, fucking I just want to say that. Banksy exhibit. Uh, this chick gave me like forty thousand dollars for this shit. <laughs> you guys don't understand how easy it is to mock a Banksy painting. So, uh, like for a part two, I'll show you how to mo- <laughs> show you how to make it. Yeah. So apparently, Banksy commented. Is that the actual Banksy account? What does it say? Yeah, Banksy. Yeah, but is it verified? Would Banksy want a verified account? Does he have like a verified? You just have to assume every Banksy thing is fake. So on the back, it has a stamp that says unauthorized, which is <clears throat> supposedly makes this more legit because that's the name of his next uh, exhibit in New York. Mm. And on the back, so amazing. Someone wrote D's nuts. <laughs> and I think it was him. I think it was Banksy. <laughs> This sounds like the perfect scam for someone to do in a city where a Banksy exhibit is coming up. Yeah. And people know about it. Yeah. And they know what he does in the other cities where he's done similar events. Yeah. It sounds like the fucking perfect scam. Yeah. Take a stencil, you stencil a white canvas, and then you stand there with a mask and you nod at people. Yeah. Not to say it, maybe, maybe it is him. I don't know. They are unsigned, but on the back of one of them is stamped unauthorized, which is the name of his upcoming exhibit. When you go to Banksy's website to authenticate them, it will ask if it is signed or unsigned. So I know he does sell unsigned. I love the the top comment. Like this is when getting gas up on the internet is so dangerous. These are a hundred percent real, and you literally just became rich. <laughs> just like some random guy being like, you, "These are for sure it." Yeah, and you can quit your job. Yes, yes. I've just appraised them. Yeah, <laughs> via TikTok, <laughs> and I can tell you that these are worth millions. That is a crazy come up, though. No. The, if this was actually real, which that's but isn't that the fucking beauty of Banksy is you don't know yeah. what's real and what's not. It's like the entire point yeah. of his character. Yeah, and like uh you know, like <laughs> that that piece he had sold however long ago where it like auto shredded. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like so she'll good. never I mean, I I guess there probably is some way that you can get these appraised and someone knows the legit Banksy style and probably can tell. What spray paint he uses and all that stuff. How could you even trust that person though? Oh, these are fake. I should take them off your hands. Yeah. But if they are real, I mean, what are these worth? Like hundreds of thousands of dollars? She just ripped his mask off. <laughs> he just kneed him in the balls yeah. and ripped his mask are off. Are these for sale? Uh huh. Oh! <laughs> Pulls his mask off. I fucking knew I it was fucking you. I knew it. Then you just grab two of them. Fuck off. Take five pictures of his face <laughs> and then grab two and run out of there. <laughs> I was going to say as an update to the shredded painting that you mentioned. Selling for 860000 The guy who bought it, bought it for $1.4 and then it shredded. And then he, it's now worth like $25 million. <laughs> That's awesome. He just said, they're like, sick, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Banks. Do you own any art? Um, nothing like crazy valuable. Yeah. I have a couple paintings that are worth like a couple grand by some artist that's like famous on the west side. You? Um, I did want to get a piece from this artist. Uh, I, I don't want to butcher his last name. His first name is Jalil and his last name is spelled N-Z-I-N-G-A. His art is crazy as fuck, but then when I looked up how much it was for an original, I was like, whoa. How much is it? Like 10, 20 Gs. Dang. Wait, can you bring up his art here? What's actually crazy is um, he, uh, I believe he was in the pack. You know, got my vans on. But they look. He's actually like, uh, oh, yeah, these are sick. He's been in a lot of love it. Um, just like crucial moments in hip hop and like rap music. It's pretty crazy. So, but his art is sick. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, so one day, you know, I'd like to have an original of his. The way he does this shit is, is dope, and a lot of these are massive. Like, yeah. Uh, whoever's standing next to the... Yeah, these are awesome. Gigantic pieces. Damn. Yeah. So, shout out to Jalil, man. He uh, he does great shit. Um, I always watch his stories because his lifestyle is just, just so cool. Yeah, I know. He just rolls around in like a classic like green bends and he'll just like... The first frame, he'll be at like some art studio and the next frame, he'll be with like ASAP Rocky or like... Sick, man. <laughs> Fuck. Nice.